Let's talk about painting. Here's what you need. You need a brush, some water, and some paints, and some paper. When you have all those things, you dip your brush in the water, and you pat the puppy, which is what I like to say. Here it is, dip, swish, and pat the puppy gently on the side, no tapping. Just pretend like you're stroking a dog's head and that gets all the water out of your brush without splashing it around. So I dip my brush in some paint and I start to paint on my paper. I'm gonna get a little bit more water. I'm painting along enjoying my yellow, but I want a new color. Do I just put it in? No. I need to wash my brush off first. Let's see that again. I'm going to dip and swish. I'm going to pat the puppy so I don't make a big mess at my table. And then I'm going to go into my new color. I'm speeding things up so we can see a lot of painting. I want a new color. <gasps> That's right, I've got to clean it. And now I'm ready to go into my yellow. Oof, that would have been a mistake, huh? So I'll keep dipping and swishing and cleaning between colors. I can put colors on top of colors, which is kind of fun. Watch me clean my brush every time between colors. It's so important. Now let's talk about how to love your paintbrush. When you go to get paint on your brush, be gentle with it. And when you go to use your paintbrush, always pull it towards you with the handle closer to you, or you can also pull it across from you in either direction. You just want the bristles to be happy. They want to go with the handle. Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to push. Pushing on the bristles makes them all messy. Be careful about using too much water and getting swimming pools in the middle of your painting. Having a little bit of water in your paint is great. Too much it starts to become a swimming pool, and then we might have to call the lifeguards. That's how you get donut paints. Those are paints where there's just been too much water left in the middle. But if you happen to get some donut paints today, they're great to use. You just get your brush wet, you twirl it around on the inside of the donut, or you can go right for the sides. I'm getting a little bit of red there and it's going to work out just fine. So be kind to your brush and your paints today and have fun.